After years spent in limbo, the Nardessa Linghams are now just days away from the place they call home. I want to go to school. Their devoted supporters say it marks the start of a lifetime of healing. We have been fighting for a very long time. The Interim Home Affairs Minister called Billa Wheeler with the breakthrough. <laughs> We're all here. I've now spoken to the family. Using ministerial discretion to intervene, Jim Chalmers is granting the family bridging visas while they work towards the resolution of their immigration status, meaning the legal marathon continues. And we hope that they will eventually grant them the safety and security that only permanent protection can bring them. Tamils Priya and Nades arrived separately from Sri Lanka by boat. Kopika and Tanaka were born here. In 2018, the family was removed from their Bilawila home by immigration officials. Bring them home! Bring them home! A year later, they were flown to Christmas Island and kept as detainees at taxpayer expense. Tanaka's medical evacuation last year led to community detention in Perth. Now she'll be back in central Queensland for her fifth birthday. It will be the first birthday she's had outside of Australia's detention system. Advocates are pushing for permanent protection for the 6,000 Tamil asylum seekers in Australia. There are many families, like the Piriyanades family, uh, who have exhausted all the legal avenues and are living in fear of being deported back. A hope echoed in a message from Priya. My prayer is that this government will make a change to the lives of every single refugee who comes here. While the Albanese government has intervened in this high-profile case, it says it remains committed to Operation Sovereign Borders and intercepting and returning asylum seeker boats. The former immigration minister is unwavering in his hardline stance. The people smugglers will be out there marketing this case. You can have uh, strong borders without being weak on humanity. It's a great day for humanity. Two Australian-born girls now have a chance at a normal childhood. Emma Pollard, ABC News.